Gun control debate in the nation's capital having an impact right here in Colorado. Congress debated legislation to ban assault weapons. But as Call 7 investigator John Frugia discovered, just the talk itself is flooding our state with more guns. Gun sales have been at an all-time high in the last three months compared to any time in previous history. We've had a uh, tremendous run in the last three months. I mean, you can just look at the shelves and see for yourself. We have very little available for sale right now. Richard Taylor, manager of the firing line in Aurora, is one of several gun dealers in the metro area who say they could sell many more military-style rifles similar to these, but they simply can't get them. As soon as they mentioned the possibility of having some kind of a ban on assault weapons, that's when it really hit. In fact, CBI records support his observation. We checked and found the number of background checks for gun sales has skyrocketed since the proposed assault ban legislation was introduced. For the three-month period, December 2011 and January and February 2012, gun sale background checks totaled over 73,000. About half of those were long guns. For the same three-month period, a year later, when Congress proposed the assault weapons ban, the total for handguns and long guns doubled to almost 148,000. We wouldn't see the demand increase if there weren't a ban, so we're getting a bubble that's caused by that demand. Uh increased due to the ban. Denver University finance professor Matt Klaus says it's simply supply and demand. When consumers believe they can no longer get a product, the price goes up. We saw lots of people buying Twinkies when they thought that they were going to disappear purely for the reason of selling it later on eBay for $20 a box or yep. whatever. And it was the same idea that we got this artificially increased in, increase in demand because we thought that that they were going to go away. Right now, manufacturers are trying to produce as fast as they can, yet I still have empty shelves. Everything that we get in goes out the door almost immediately. Guns are certainly an emotional issue after some of the things that we've seen happen. Mm -hmm. And so the first thought is, well, let's just do something to ban them and make the sale of these illegal so that they go away. But in fact, uh, it has the opposite effect. Congress has done a great job for us. I mean, business has never been better. The CU finance professor says if Congress wanted to make military-style rifles less valuable, it would have to make them less desirable, like proposing registration that would make them more difficult to sell. That, coupled with a buyback program, could theoretically cause people to get rid of their weapons. But such a proposal, like the assault weapons ban, would have little chance of passing. In the newsroom, I'm John Ferrugia, 7 News.